Good morning, students. Our topic for today is Lesson 13-4, Equivalence Metric Units of Length. So you will find this lesson on page 697 to page 700 from your book. Here are the learning objectives for today's lesson. You're going to recognize the relative size of metric units of length and convert from a larger unit to smaller unit and solve more problems related to metric units of length. Let's analyze this problem. Find the length of the marker shown in both centimeters and millimeters. Describe the relationship between the two units. So as you can see here, this is considered as the measurement for centimeters, okay? And this is for the millimeters. Now, what is the relationship between these two measurements? So, based on the answer of Marsha or Marsha's work, Marsha used the ruler to measure correctly and stated the appropriate relationship between the measurement units. So, what she said that that the marker is 12 centimeters or that is equivalent to 120 millimeters long using the ruler because 12 multiplied by 10 is equivalent to 120. So the relationship is one centimeter is equivalent to 10 millimeters. Now, for Kerry's work, Kerry used the ruler to measure correctly, but she did not state the relationship between the measurement units. Okay, because Kerry said that the marker is 12 centimeters or 120 millimeters long only without identifying the relationship. Unlike Marcia's work, she identified that one centimeter is equivalent to 10 millimeters. So. Okay, so I will show you this one. This is the table wherein you can easily understand, okay, the relationship between the different units of lab. Okay, so we have the kilometer, meter, centimeter, and millimeter. So we need to focus only for these four. Okay, so but in order you to understand the metric conversion, you need to memorize this one. Okay, so this is very easy to memorize in order to understand the order, okay, of the metric conversion. So King Henry died and usually drinking chocolate milk. K stands for kilo, H stands for hecto, D stands for deca, U stands for unit, and the unit that we're going to talk about is the meter, okay? D stands for deci, C, centi, and M, milli. So the larger unit here is the kilo, so since we are talking about the metric units of them, that is kilometer, and the smaller unit is milli. Okay, the smallest unit is millimeter. So from kilo to milli, it means from bigger unit or larger unit to smaller unit, to convert this one, we need to always multiply by 10. Okay, so in short, from kilo to hecto, from kilometer to hectometer, that is multiplied by 10. So this must be multiplied by 10 from here up to here. So from hecto to deca, that is multiplied by 10. From deca to unit, that is multiplied by 10. From meter or unit to deci, multiplied by 10. From deci to centi, multiplied by 10. And from centi to milli, that is also multiply by 10. Now, I will give you an example to find out the relationship of kilo to meter. Okay, so in one kilometer, how many meter? So let's find out. Kilo to meter, how many movements going to the right? We have one, two, three. So like for example, the given is one kilometer is how many meter? So one kilometer is here, kilometer is here, and meter is here. So we have three movements, and each movement means multiply by 10. It means 10, multiply by 10, multiply by 10. 
So 10 multiplied by 10 multiplied by 10 means 1000. In short, to make it easy, one movements means tens, tens, hundreds, thousand. So one multiplied by 1000, the answer is 1000. That's why the relationship of one kilometer is equivalent to 1000 meter. Okay, now what if kilometer to centimeter? So it's the same thing from kilometer to centimeter. How many movements? Tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand. So one kilometer, if we're going to change it into centimeter, that is one hundred thousand. So multiply by one hundred thousand. The answer is equivalent to 100,000 centimeter. So the relationship of kilometer to centimeter, in one kilometer, there is 100,000 centimeter. Another is kilometer to millimeter. How many movements? Tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, million. So in short, one kilometer multiplied by one million is equivalent to one million. So one kilometer is equivalent to one million millimeter. Okay, now let's apply. How can you convert from one metric units of length to another? So for the standing long jump, Corey jump two meters and Gary jump 175. So who jumped further? So the metric units of length include the meters, kilometers, centimeters, and millimeters, as I told you before. So the metric units of length, we have one centimeter that is equivalent to 10 millimeters. One meter is equivalent to 100 centimeter, and that is also equivalent to 1,000 millimeter. One kilometer is equivalent to 1,000 meter. In short, you're, you can easily convert the metric units using the multiples of 10. So if we're going to convert 2 meters to centimeters, we, we know already that 1 meter, the relationship of meter to centimeter, 1 meter is equivalent to 100 centimeter. So since the given is 2 meters, so 2 multiplied by 100, that's why the answer is 200 centimeter. So to answer the question, Corey jumped 200 centimeter, so 200 centimeter is greater than 175 centimeter, so Corey jumped farther than Gary. Another example, if we're going to convert 5 meters to millimeters, so multiply the larger number of units by the number of smaller units in each larger unit. So we all know that when we convert meter to millimeter, 1000 millimeter is equivalent to one meter or in short one meter is equivalent to 1000 millimeter so if there are five meters so we need to multiply by 1000 so the answer is 5000 millimeters next in the problem on the previous page suppose matthew jumped three fourth meter so who jumped further matthew or gary so, 3 fourth meter, 3 fourth means 0 0.75 or 75 hundredths, okay? So, if we're going to change the 75 hundredths into centimeter, that is equivalent to 75 centimeters, okay? And on the previous page, we have 175 centimeters. So, if we're going to compare 175 centimeter and 75 centimeter, so the greater one is 175 centimeters. Next, five kilometers. So let's convert the following. Five kilometers is equivalent to how many meters? So kilometers, this one, to meter. This is meter. How many movements? That's 100,000. It means multiply by 1,000. That's why the answer is 5 thousand meters centimeters to millimeters so centi to milli centimeters to millimeters how many movements one only it means that is multiplied by 10 
So 7 to 5 multiplied by 10, that is equivalent to 750. Another example, 2 meters to centimeters, meters to centimeter, meter to centi, tens hundred. It means that is equivalent to 200 centimeters. Kilometers to meters, from kilo to meter, tens hundred thousand. So it means multiply by 1,000. That's why the answer is 5,000. Centimeter to millimeter, from centi to milli. There is only one movement. It means multiply by 10. So 8 multiplied by 10 is equivalent to 80. Meter to millimeters. So this is meter and this is millimeter. So tens, hundred, thousand. So we need to multiply by 1,000. So the answer is equivalent to 6,000. 9 kilometers to meter, kilometers to meter, kilo to meter, tens, hundred, thousand. So you need to multiply by 1,000 also. So the answer is 9,000 meters. And 6 meters to centimeters, so meters to centimeter. So meter is here. Then we're going to convert it into centimeters. We have tens, hundreds, so it means 6 multiplied by 100. That's why the answer is equivalent to 600 centimeters. So here, 1 meter is how many millimeters? This is 1,000. 2 meters is 2,000 millimeters. 3 meters, 3,000 millimeters. 4 meters, 4,000 millimeters. And 5 meters, 5,000 millimeters. Here, centimeter to millimeter, that is only multiplied by 10. So 1 multiplied by 10 is 10, 2 by 10 is 20, 3 by 10 is 30, 4 by 10 is 40, and 5 by 10 is 50.